spaghetti squash has a thread-like texture that's similar to spaghetti, but it's higher in fiber and has anti-cancer effects as well. Fiber is important for a cancer prevention diet because it helps carry away excess carcinogens from the body. In addition to the spaghetti squash, you'll need two cups of marinara sauce. We're using the basic marinara sauce recipe from the website that already includes basil. If you're using plain spaghetti sauce, add two tablespoons of chopped basil. You'll also need two tablespoons of nutritional yeast or soy or rice-based Parmesan cheese, and then some optional radishes. You'll need a baking pan large enough to hold the spaghetti squash, also a sharp knife, a spoon, a fork, and a cutting board. And I'll use the Salad Master machine to slice the radishes. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Then wash your spaghetti squash carefully and pierce it with a knife or a fork about five times. Place your spaghetti squash on a baking sheet and bake it in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes until it's tender when poked with a fork. While we're waiting, cut the radishes. There's also enough time for you to prepare the basic marinara sauce recipe if you'd like. Remove your spaghetti squash from the oven and let it cool. Then slice it lengthwise and scoop out the pulp from the middle. Next, remove the spaghetti-like threads with a fork and place them back in the baking pan. Add the spaghetti sauce to the spaghetti squash and toss until it's evenly distributed. Then cover lightly with aluminum foil, return to the oven, and bake for 20 to 30 more minutes until warmed.